can't believe that I'm doing this for a job as well as school because it's so much fun and you're just learning so much. And I feel like I've learned more outside of the classroom, like talking to my professors or talking with my friends about what we're learning. The objective of our experiment is to look at how the amount of suspended sediment in the Minas Basin influences the abundance and diversity of, of invertebrates, small animals that live out in the mudflat. We're doing chlorophyll analysis, we're doing organic content, we're also trying to find out the different sized grains of the assemblages around here and so that we can use those to help us um, compare what the field is to what we find out from the mesocosm. We collected the cores that you see in here of the um, little mud shrimp and then at the same time we collected samples that would help us understand the basic ecology of the basin. It's important because it relates back to tidal power and how it's going to have an effect on the overall flow of the water into the bay. The invertebrates in the mud are dependent on the suspended sediment for nutrients because with the tides it brings in nutrients for them and any changes in flow can affect their nutrient uptake or just how well they survive. Well, my role in this project is basically to model the flow of fluid through the mesocosm. This is pretty important because depending on different flows of water, the organisms we're studying will feed in different ways. So if the flow is really strong over the pots, they might reach up with their appendages and feed from the suspended sediment in the water. If there's less flow, they'll start feeding from the surface. This is an example of one of the pots here. It's got nitex down at the bottom, and the sediment structure is the same as it was out in the field because the size of the sediments and the orientation of the sediments, that's very important in allowing the animals to feed and behave normally. So we're doing some of our work out in the field, but the mesocosm is amazing because it lets us control a number of variables. It lets us control um, the period that the animals are covered by the tide. Um, it lets us control the amount of suspended sediment that they're exposed to. It lets us control photo period and temperature and other things like that. So we can actually identify factors in the field that we think are important in um, influencing the amount of suspended sediment and how that in turn influences the invertebrates and then we can bring the animals in, in here and experimentally test them. If changes in sediment um, suspension change the type of sediments present then the coropium wouldn't be able to survive. Without coropium the flocks of shorebirds wouldn't have anything to eat when they come here in the summer and that's a huge part of the ecosystem of the Bay of Fundy. This project is financially supported by Arthur Irving, who gave me two years of funding. And that's a wonderful opportunity to use the mesocosm and to do this study. Um, working in this kind of interdisciplinary project is really fun because I get to do all of the physics stuff I'm interested in, but I also get to do a lot of cool hands-on biology work as well. Every day is something new, and it's relevant, it's interesting, it's great. <laughs> Coming into university, you, you never really know what you're going to expect. And so the thing that I like the most about university is that it's not just school, it's actually a life. 